Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse of Walk Faith. Happy Wednesday. It's February 3rd. Hope you're enjoying the week so far. If you want to follow along, when? When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise. In God, I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. And that's Psalm. Perhaps you've noticed that in Psalm 56, 3, David doesn't say, if I am afraid. He says, when? Times of fearfulness will come into your life. Anxieties will arise, not only because this is a fallen world, but also because in order to teach you faith, the Father must bring you to the end of yourself, so you will choose to trust Him. This is a necessary lesson and an indispensable part of maturing you as a believer. So today, consider if your heart is in despair, are the questions, painful thoughts, or fears flooding your mind? Is there an overwhelming situation that you cannot handle. Do as David did and come back to the truth of your father's perfect provision and unfailing care for your every need. God has not abandoned you and he never will. Trust him to help you. Lord, when I am afraid, I will trust and have faith in you and your provisions and protections. Thank you for loving me and drawing me closer to you. Amen. In his presence, abandon yourself to his loving, trustworthy care. So we all struggle with fear. We all sort of feel a sense of anxiety. I know I do uh, all the time. It doesn't matter how many times I read scripture. It doesn't matter how much I pray. It doesn't matter what I watch. I have a pretty strict regimen on what I do, but yet I will still wake up and I will still have thoughts of fear and anxiety. So what do we do? What I do is I listen to podcasts. I listen to people that will sort of remind me that I need to put my trust and faith in God and I will recite scripture. But unfortunately, the scripture and the podcast after a while it's like anything else. But what you need to do is what I'm telling you is what I do is create the routine. So when those thoughts and fear and anxiety comes, you have to say, first of all, God would not lead me this far and abandon me. God is not preparing me for something. And God is sort of fulfilling his promise and his purpose in my life because I'm obeying God's word. So it's difficult, trust me. But the one thing that I feel like we all need to do is to be honest and open about our fears and anxieties and to let other people know through our story, through our testament, through our journey that becoming a Christian, turning our life over to Christ, believing in God does not eliminate the fear and anxiety. I can tell you that. Keep reading and keep building a relationship in Christ. Until next time, always remember you have the ability to inspire and evangelize through your words and actions. God bless you. And if you want to share your testimony, your journey of faith, I am always open and willing to listen. Take care.